Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's been really hot in Chicago these past few days. It's actually 88 degrees right now. And as a lot of you know, I did just buy a new house and this is perfect timing because Google just released their fourth generation Nest learning thermostat and actually the previous owners had already installed a Nest thermostat. This is the second gen, so it's definitely time for an upgrade. This new Nest learning thermostat comes with a temperature sensor in the box, so if you need a specific room to be a certain temperature, you can make that happen. Not only that, an updated design. It looks gorgeous. I got a sneak peek of it. It looks so good. And they've added a feature where it will show contextual information depending on how far away from the thermostat you are. I'm excited to show you that. On top of that, you even have some new AI scheduling and other features. So we will get this installed. First things first, turning off the breaker to the AC unit. But now that that's done, we are going to take this guy off and actually get this new one installed. I'll show you what comes in the box. Let's get started. Here's the new Nest Learning Thermostat with temperature sensor. This is the polished silver color and huge. It does have matter support as well. By the way, with the new house, you're gonna be seeing a lot more smart home videos from me, so be sure to subscribe. Anyways, opening up the box, let's see what we get. Oh man, that's so clean, a much bigger screen. We're going to set our thermostat for, to the side for just a second. And here is our temperature sensor. A quick close up of that temperature sensor, pretty small and on the back it's a flat side and then there's a little hook in case you wanna hang it up. You've got your standard booklet, instruction manual, plus our plate that we're going to connect our wires. So yes, you know, you can't just pull off the old one and put on the new one. You have to install a new plate. Same goes for our mounting bracket, our wall plate. So this is a little bit different. I'm hoping the previous owners actually painted behind my previous plate. We'll find out in just a second. And you also get your screws as well to mount everything. And onto what you actually came to see, our new Nest thermostat. Check out how the reflections are just a little warped in general, which really gives it that sort of spill over look. Um, kind of like an eyeball, a fisheye type of look. It's really cool and unique. I'm excited for you to check it out. And just a look at our sensors on the back. Make sure to note where all the previous wires were installed. You can label them if necessary. With all the wires disconnected, let's take this plate off. I'm in luck. It looks like it was painted, so it should look just fine. So we have the metal backplate installed. Now we just need to connect everything with our included screws. You'll also notice there is a bubble level, so make sure that's level before you tighten everything. Next, let's realign the wires back into their spots. By the way, in case you need it, the Google Home app has some really handy instructions that you can follow along with. Okay, moment of truth. Let's get it installed. Just line up the back connector and push in. It's not gonna turn out, I gotta go switch the breakers. All right, the breaker has been flipped and there we go. Let's continue setting up in the Google Home app. Our thermostat's ready to connect. Let's run through this process. This is important, just make sure the wires that you just connected show up on this page. So our thermostat's now controlling heating and cooling. My AC just turned on. Let's get it connected to Wi-Fi and then we'll go take a look at it. Connected to Wi-Fi and it looks like there's an update that needs to download. In the meantime, I'd like to point out that our temperature sensor actually came with a hanging screw that you can screw anywhere and you'll notice it has a little notch for that back, I'm gonna pull this tab and that should activate the battery. Of note, there's a couple ways that this thermostat can help you save money with Nest Renew. You can even start home and away routines with presence sensing, that's really nice, and including using your phone's presence. Out of all of the devices, if you activate a Nest speaker, display, or even our lock, so when you unlock my front or back door, it will activate, that's nice to have. There's a system health monitor and it can help catch potential HVAC issues, that's nice and hopefully preventative. I'm gonna 
gonna set up all three of these things. I'm excited to see my Farsight display though. You can run through and change these temperatures depending on the time of day. You can add events. I'm going to do that later. There's even a smart schedule to automatically apply or you can turn them off with, or just have them suggest things. There's our beautiful new Nest thermostat. All right, just kidding. There it is with the new Farsight display, clearly a much larger screen and you can customize the info that's on the Farsight display. So right now it has the temperature, the indoor temperature and what it's cooling to, the weather analog clock or a digital clock. I'd like to point out running through all of these, it still shows the temperature outside, inside, and some of them what it's cooling to. So when you have the weather, you'll notice it's 75 cooling to and 77 in the house now, 76. So it's clearly cooling. Select your eco temps for when you are away. This is for safety reasons. Now I want this heated above 60 degrees, maybe 60. Uh, when I'm away and it gets really cold in Chicago and cool to a certain temperature as well. I know I'm keeping everything nice and suspenseful, but let's very quickly set up the nest temperature sensor. I promise we'll get over to the thermostat in a second. I put the thermostat up on my nightstand just for now until I find the spot where I want to actually install it, but let's test the connection. We're all connected and ready to go. With these temperature sensors, you can have more than one and have it use only one temperature sensor or an average from multiple. All right. Let's check it out for the first time. If you start turning the dial, really, really nice feel to it and nice little subtle animation with the numbers. Pressing on the screen will get you to your menu. You can change the mode. You can switch to eco using the thermostat if you want to set the timer on the fan or go into settings. Within settings is where you can customize the far sight, but you can also customize not just the face with all of those different options, uh, like we had mentioned before. However, that's when you're far away. Now, what happens when you get a little closer, when you're near the screen, you get all of that other information that pops up. I'll test this out in just a second, but you can actually customize what is shown on the right. You see, if I select it, now it shows the time, now it shows the date. Uh, you can run through and really customize between time, date, uh, target temperature, outdoor air quality even. Also, you can customize the sensing distance. Right now it's far, it wakes from further away or near. So there's just two options. I wish there was kind of an in-between, but I guess, I guess not. So here's a live demo. I'm pretty far away now and I'm going to continue to get closer. And what's gonna happen is see, it senses how far away I am from the wall from the thermostat and it shows that extra information that we completely customized. There's also a really satisfying click. I do think realistically the weather one is probably the one I'm going to stick with. And again, when you get closer, this is actually the temperature, what it actually feels like outside. So that's nice to have. And of course our settings for inside, outside. Oh, and it will switch depending on the time of day. Uh, of what the weather is going to be like in the future. That's awesome. But anyways, that is it from me for now on the new Nest Learning Thermostat. I'm gonna have to mess around with it and hopefully it learns from my habits, uses that temperature sensor, maybe saves me some money on my energy bill. Be sure to drop a comment, a lot more content coming soon, smart home content for sure. So be sure to subscribe so you're notified when that goes live. And as always, thanks for watching.